the question is, um, how do you define happiness? That's a good question. I think, uh, so are you asking me how I define it? Yes, it's a personal question. How do you personal. define happiness? Um, I think I define happy is, um, you know, seeing, first of all, uh, you know, my husband, my children, my family, um, when they're when they're happy, I think that's what makes me happy. When they're close to me, when they're achieving what they want to in life, um, you know, it's a little broad, but I think that's what really makes me happy. Um, when we're sharing time together with um, not just our family, but with you know, family and friends, extended, um, that's happiness for me. Also, I think um, when I'm able to make someone else happy, and not just in my own, you know, small circle, but it can be uh, some place that I work, or you know, an interaction that I have, um, you know, or even something that you know I read or see on TV when someone else is um, happy. I think it just is very contagious. You know, makes me happy. Okay, couple. This is for you. Uh, what will make you happy? Wow. Um, it isn't easy and I think it keeps on changing from time to time but certainly uh, one thing I can say if I can float while I stay grounded in some sense it would be happy uh, well it's happiness right so float in the sense that I can imagine that my family and my friends are having uh, are happy about something or the other, everything is going smoothly with them and at the same time make sure that I am in control of myself. That's, that's okay. I think so. Do you, do you make any efforts on a regular basis to remain happy or to achieve the happiness? Uh, yeah, I mean the aim always is uh, to make sure that you are uh, that you remain physically fit and mentally agile and open uh, to at least a few people if not all uh, people who you get along with and so on uh, but yeah it's always a it's always an effort it's always a struggle it's a continuing struggle I would imagine <laughs> we are all happy. <laughs> yes. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> okay. So this is for you, Anjali. Do you think you can be happy all the time? No. I cannot be happy all the time. Yes, I'm. The, the value of happiness is because I'm sad many times. So when I am able to pull myself out or pull some other people with me out of it, then I feel happier. So it's related to different stages. So according to you, what are the ingredients to stay happy? To stay active. For me, most important is to be loved. So if I'm able to make somebody else with me or in far off a little happier, I feel I belong. I have a role to, to finish. And it makes me happier. I think my happiness is dependent on other people. It, it is not just within me, it's around me. Okay. That's an interesting perspective. Huh? Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready now too. So, for you, Seth, <laughs> is staying happy all the time too utopian? No, I don't think so. I think one could stay happy all the time, but uh, the, the degree of happiness, I think, may vary. But I think it is possible to be happy all the time. That's being contented, you know, with yourself. And, uh, you know, as Kapil and Andri and Lina has also said, is it seems like we're all coming to the common theme that making other people is, uh, making other people happy is what, 
ultimately brings happiness to yourself also. But I think it's also self-reflecting that, you know, uh, with me, uh, being happy all the time is difficult because, you know, I go through these swings where for no obvious reason I don't feel so happy. And then when I, you know, when I question myself, uh, why am I not, you know, as happy as I was yesterday or last night or this morning, I can't explain it. But it's just something, you know, that, that happens. But uh, I think the being happy all the time is possible if you know you concentrate on looking within you to see how you know you can improve yourself, how you can you know behave or be with people around you, your family and your friends. And uh, you know I sort of feed on the fact of you know I like being around people, I like being around family, and I didn't realize how much until you actually are around them and then you see how you're, you know, you're gaining energy from everybody else. And I think if you can continue to do that, concentrate on that, I think you can uh, stay happy more times than not. Uh, do you, do you of, often reflect on your state of happiness on a daily basis? I actually do. As I was just touching on my response before also, is that when I'm not so elated, when I'm not so happy, I think about why am I not happy? And then there's a thousand reasons for why that's not the case. But then, you know, the other times, all those conditions or the circumstances don't go away. But other times, you are feeling happier, more contented. And then I ask, you know, you know, everything is the same. Why do I feel, you know, better about myself, better about the world, better about the environment, and it's, I really can't, exp I, you know, I can't explain it, uh, but it's just, uh, it's just something that's there, and then what I try to do is that, try to feed on those moments where I am in a more positive state than not, to see if I can replicate that even other times when I'm not feeling that way, uh, because, you know, as it is, you know, except for something that may suddenly happen, something bad may happen, and those are just, you know, events that take place. But in terms of, you know, the state of mind, many of the circumstances stay constant, and you just have to make yourself deal with them better and then, you know, find that happiness. So I think it all comes from, you know, within. Do you think religion plays any role in inculcating happiness? I think to me, religion is a very personal thing about the way religion is being portrayed upon these days is very different from the way I feel religion should be. It's something very personal. I mean, like, you, you, you tend to, you know, realize yourself through religion. And the way you realize yourself through religion is, is through your own thoughts. Through your, you know, and it can come through various teachings from various religions. So definitely, if you pick up the good stuff from, you know, and, and, and all religions have all, all good stuff only. It's only, you know, some people who portray something from, from a particular religion, which may not actually be the real fact. It makes it makes it very negative here and there, you know, which, which whatever those religions may be. But then it's very personal, it's very personal to myself. And uh, yes, religion can help me maybe de-stress myself. But then, uh, okay, maybe de-stressing yourself may lead to happiness also. That could also be, you know, another factor of, that can be considered. Sort of, yeah. So, if I ask you that uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, where do you put your happiness at the moment? Somewhere around 8 maybe. Same question I ask you, Sid. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, where do you put your happiness at this moment? I would say probably around 7. seven. Yeah. Any particular reason that you are giving this number 7? Well, because I think of things that could make me happier. Yeah. And there are things. So, uh, would you like to share some of them? No, those are <laughs> <laughs> And the same 
question to you, Kapil, uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, where would you like to put your happiness index? As of now, I would say, I would think, 8. I think it's our couch. <laughs> 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 